We've had uh, some beautiful conditions in the weather front uh, so far for this Tuesday and really extending all the way back through last week. We'll continue to deal with some sunny skies here as we move through the evening tonight. We see some sunshine there on our weather video from today. The one thing we haven't seen a lot of lately has been the rainfall and we're continuing to stay quiet through the evening hours tonight. Future track radar clear skies continue. We had a little bit of a disturbance uh, to our west, but notice that pretty much falling apart here as uh, we just don't have the moisture content in the lower atmosphere. Dew points continuing to stay in those mid 50s, so expect those clear skies. Uh, throughout the evening hours tonight. So what are we tracking here? Oh, I still think we have a couple isolated rain chances late this week, but the rain stays isolated. We're not looking at widespread showers. That looks unlikely at this time. Looks like our best chance is Thursday into Friday for some accumulating rainfall. Temperature wise, we stay lower 80s throughout the rest of the week. Next week looks to be even drier potentially with temperatures only staying in maybe the lower 70s come Sunday, Monday and into Tuesday. So there's not a lot of help on the way to help help out our drought monitor. Uh, we do see we're on the minor side of things on the drought monitor with the yellow uh, moving through southeast Minnesota, northeast Iowa. I do think this will change as we move uh, forward here because uh, with all the rainfall that we just had uh, in central Iowa and eastern Iowa with the derecho yesterday, you know, we're not looking at extreme dry conditions right now in central Iowa. As we look at the rain chances the rest of the week, notice not very high with our rain chances and definitely not looking at any type of severe weather moving forward. Still looking at those isolated chances Thursday, Friday and Saturday, but with the lack of moisture, we stay really isolated and we'll see that here in future track. As we move through the overnight hours tonight, notice high pressure continuing to impact our forecast. We see those streamlines in that uh, clockwise movement. That's the high pressure keeps us dry and quiet through the overnight hours tonight. So as we move through early Wednesday, I think we're dry. I think we're sunny to start the day. Notice showers off to our west. Watch, they just eventually fall apart. We just don't have a ton of moisture uh, in the atmosphere in southeast Minnesota, north, northeast Iowa. Maybe an isolated shower right along I-35, but most of the rain will stay to the west of I-35 through the morning. Now, as we move through the afternoon and evening, I have very isolated showers, maybe some drizzly conditions, not expecting a ton of rainfall on the way for tomorrow. As we continue to move through, then into Thursday, some isolated showers move through early Thursday morning. That might be our best chance, and then another round potentially Thursday afternoon. So just some light rain. I think overall rainfall accumulations extending through Friday, maybe a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. So not a ton widespread for Southeast Minnesota, Northeast Iowa. Outside currently on our Lewis and out of life cameras, we look at uh, Lake City, Lake Pepin, beautiful conditions outside. And right now we still have temperatures in Rochester at 81 degrees and we'll stay those lower 80s here through the night tonight. 79 currently in Osage and Cresco and then overnight lows. Not as chilly as last night. We actually got down into the 40s for overnight lows, but because of the southerly wind tonight, those temperatures will drop down upper 50s for overnight lows tonight. As we look at your forecast for tomorrow, 80 degrees for the high. If we can increase those clouds uh, throughout the afternoon, it could mess with our temperatures just a little bit, maybe stay in the upper 70s. But I do think we have a couple chances for some light rain coming up for tomorrow. Let's look at that seven day forecast. Showers and thunderstorms possible Thursday, Friday, and into Saturday. And then next week, fairly comfortable lower 70s return for highs by Monday. Now, do it for your weather authority forecast. Caitlin, back to you.